Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to download and install the JDK. So first of all, what is a JDK? JDK stands for Java Development Kit, which is a software development environment used for developing the Java application. And if you guys have watched my previous tutorial, then you know I have explained how a Java program works. We need to convert our Java code to something called bytecode using the Java compiler. And then we need to use the Java virtual machine to run that bytecode. So all these compilers, the JVMs and all other programs which are required for running a Java program are available from this JDK. So let's see how to download and install it. In 2010, you know, the Oracle purchased the Java and they are maintaining the Java programming language. So we're going to download the JDK from this Oracle website. So we need to go to oracle.com. And here you guys can see downloads. Just uh, click on that and scroll down and you're going to see something called Java here and just uh, click on this Java SE which stands for Java Standard Edition you know, which is used for developing the Java applications and Java applets and also you guys can see the Java EE stands for Java Enterprise Edition you know which is used for developing the dynamic websites you know the JSP and all those things we're not gonna be uh, downloading this one we're gonna download this Java SE just click on that and now you guys can see we have the Java platform JDK 8 and you know we're not gonna download this NetBeans because you know we're gonna use another IDE called uh, Eclipse so just click on this uh, Java download so now you guys can see we have uh, the Java SC development kit 8 and you guys need to accept the license agreement so just gonna click on here and now download the JDK for your operating system so you guys can see a list of operating systems here so i'm gonna be using the windows and i'm gonna use the 32-bit operating system so i'm gonna download this one here you know i have already downloaded this so i'm not gonna download it again so once you click on here you know it's gonna start downloading the jdk all right once your download finishes you guys can see the downloaded file in the location where you have saved the download and you just need to double click on that file or the application and you know it's gonna start installing the JDK in your system okay now click on this next and uh, it's just gonna install all these things you know along with the source code and JRE you know which is the Java runtime environment you can click on this next and it's gonna install the Java standard development kit 8 in our computer then it's gonna ask for installing the JRE just click on this next and it's gonna install the JRE also so now uh, once the installation right. finishes, once we have downloaded on and installed the JDK in our system, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the path environment variable. So we're going to set the path environment variable with the location of the Java compilers and all other programs. So you guys may ask me like, you know, why the heck we need to set the path environment variable? What happens if we don't set this? So if you want to execute a Java program from the command prompt, if we don't set this path variable, then you guys need to pass the full path of the Java compilers and all other softwares when running it. If we have set this path variable, then you guys can easily execute a Java program from the command prompt from any directory. So that is the advantage. So I just gonna open up my computer and I'm gonna open up the location where I have installed the JDK. It's gonna be in the local disk C and program files. And you guys can see a folder called Java. And inside that you're gonna see something called JDK 1.8 and here I'm just gonna open up the bin and now select any of these files and right click on it and select properties and just copy this location and close it now open up your my computer and right click here and go to properties and we're gonna set the path here so we're gonna go to the advanced system settings 
and then we're gonna go for this environment variables and here under this user variables for the computer user we're gonna select new and we're gonna give the variable name path and we're gonna paste the values which we have copied and click on this ok and again ok and ok and that's it so now what we can do is we can run a java program from any location in our computer and just to demonstrate that i'm gonna open up the command prompt and here i'm just gonna type java and hit enter and it's gonna produce all these things and you guys can see usage java etc etc so once you get this it's gonna mean that you have successfully installed the jdk in your system and you guys have already set the environment variable so that uh, you guys can execute the java program from any folder in your system so this is it guys this is about installing the jdk in your system so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial